Hi, I'm Craig with Data Video. It's 2020 in March, and we certainly are living in very unusual times right now. We are asked not to gather together more than 10 people. That certainly makes a huge impact on how we congregate together for houses of worship, for uh, corporate events, for schools and universities. We need to learn how to stream. So many of our customers, our integrators, and our dealers are asking us, what do you got? So uh, we decided to put together some very simple, easy st streaming solutions. And that's actually the name of the package is Easy Streaming Packages. And so I have a, a, one of these packages laid out here. I'm just gonna give you an example of one of our workflows that we put together for you. So I'd like to introduce you to the first package. It's called Easy Streaming B1. It's the PTC150 camera, the SC650 switcher, and the MVS33. The tablet, of course, is something you can add if you'd like. I'll explain what that is for you later. And also we have the router, which is also optional. So we'll just kind of go through this workflow. Let's start with the camera. PTC150 is a 30X uh, 1080p 60 camera. And you can connect that through SDI or HDMI to your switcher. The uh, NVS33 is your streaming device and that has uh, also recording on the front here with an SD card, not included. But the uh, NBS33 will allow you to stream to Facebook, YouTube, whatever you'd like. The SC650 switcher is a four input switcher, two SDI, two HDMI. The nice thing is if you're using this for a house of worship application, I can bring it in the laptop for my Pro Presenter or for Easy Worship or something like that, or PowerPoint. And you can then switch to that, and then you can also key different uh, graphics over your video, like a lower third. That all can be done here on the SE650. Also has a built-in audio mixer. So the output of this will go to a monitor like I have here, or the NBS33. Well, I should say and the NBS33, because then I have, uh, that can go in SDI or HDMI. So there's the workflow. Now what's about the tablet? What is that for? Well, I, that's why I have the router here. The router basically allows me to talk to the, uh, the camera and be able to control it with this free app. It's called the SC500MU app. You can go to the Android store or iOS store, download this for free. And it basically has basic camera controls where I can uh, select and set different positions of the camera. Let me just run through that now. If you look at the monitor here, that's a wide shot of some subjects that I have here on the side of the, the studio here. And I'll push position one, and you can see the camera moving to the apples, and then I'll put, put position two, whatever those are, and I'll select uh, another. There's a, an NBA player, and then I push another button for number four. There's my four shots. So basically I can quickly go to different shots if I'm doing a, a presentation and I wanna just control things. Also I have a joystick, a virtual joystick here that I can do, control my zoom and all that. Very nice, very powerful, can access all the features on the camera, including white balance, zoom and focus. There you have it. This is the easy streaming solution called B1. If you wanna look at this uh, as a package, it's on our website. You can also click on the link below in this video and it'll take you right to all our different workflows that we have available for streaming. We have lots of videos on how to use all this gear, including the NVS33 on how to go to Facebook, how to access the web interface on the NVS33. So we have all the tools that you want on our website. You're in good hands. You've got lots of tools and lots of resources on how to stream to your favorite platform for your audience. Thanks for watching.